This is the Chrissy Swan Show. Let's go clicking. Chrissy's clickbait. I tell you what, anything that talks about one hit wonders or best albums of all time or um, like top 100 singles of all time, I'm there. Right up our alley. Ed Sheeran sat down with uh, Jake Shane, who is uh, apparently a famous TikToker. Yeah. Do I need to get onto TikTok? I, I don't think so. I wish I hadn't because it's such a wormhole. Like, I can't get off it once I'm on it and it kind of depresses me. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I don't a, think you need to. I don't need anything more in my life. <laughs> um, anyway, Ed Sheeran uh, has made an astounding but understandable claim about Britney Spears' song, Baby One More Time. What do you think uh, is another perfect debut song? Oh, I've, I this is my favourite, favourite, favourite topic of conversation. Hit Me Baby One More Time by Britney Spears. Oh. So, that's it. That's, yeah. there, there is no better debut song. Those are the t- I think Hit Me Baby One More Time is like top two or three best songs it's, ever written. It's high praise oh, baby, indeed. Baby, high praise. And Ed often covers that song. No. Let me have a listen. But something wasn't right, yeah. Oh, baby, baby, I shouldn't have No, I'm sorry. Do you know what makes uh, Baby One More Time good? What? Oh, baby, yeah, baby. I agree. You need that shake and that yeah. Britney voice. And whatever that electronic instrument is. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. That one. But, of course, I couldn't resist to put together a list. I could, I mean, I'll be thinking of this every day for the rest of my life now. Give me some. These are just off the top of my head. The best debut singles, which means the best very first song that we ever heard this person release. Let's... I don't think you can go past Sweet Disposition by Temper Trap. Absolute tune. Oh! Tom! Tom! Put down that corn chip, Tommy. <laughs> and if it's 3am on a Sunday morning... Oh, the John Summit remix. Uh, oh, my God, it's... So good. I've got look. I've got goosebumps. full goosebumps. Give me another one. He's got a second song out at the moment that Nova are playing, which is fabulous. But I could not believe my ears when I heard "Take Me to Church" by Hosier. That's amazing. It's amazing. And I can only have one more. Mr. Brightside, The Killers. Was this their debut? Yes. I did not know. I thought this was like way newer. Look at Tom, is shook. <laughs> on your alibi. What a song. Price I paid. That, what a song. Absolutely I mean, true. I could go on forever on this. It's a really fun thing to do if you've got absolutely no life. Is put together <laughs> your list. Yes. Now let's finish off with what are we talking about? Some here? more singing, the beautiful Rumor Willis. Oh my god! So I saw this. You know, some families you just love. I love the Bruce Willis, Demi Moore, three girls. They're very amicable in their breakup. They're all hanging out in a beautiful house together. It is nice. He's unwell. She's there for Demi's there for him, his ex, the mother of his children. I just love the whole vibe. Beautiful, broad minded love of it all. Yes. And their eldest daughter, Room we call her Rumor. I think it's pronounced Rummer, actually. Okay. Rummer Willis. That's annoying. She is the most amazing singer. And Demi Moore posted this clip. Oh, oh, baby, give me one more chance. Wow. Wow. Won't you please let me back in your And, of course, that is the Jackson 5. Yeah. I want you back. I could listen to her all day long. She needs to release some of her own music if she hasn't already. She must. And I will buy it. And whatever her debut single is will join my list. Of what? The best ever. (laughs) The Chrissy Swan Show. (laughs) Chrissy's clickbait. Tell you what, Jojo Siwa, she's got some appeal, man. She knows how to make a headline. She does. And I've only just really... I've done a bit of a deep dive on Jojo because my kids love that song. Yeah, Come as a Bitch. Better. When I first heard it, I thought, well, when I first heard that she had a song called Karma, I thought, is someone covering my Queen and Saviour's 
song Karma. Oh no, she's come up with her own. Yeah, and then I heard my kids singing these very rude words and I thought, no, Taylor would never do such a thing. Never. It's Jojo Siwa, she's sassy. Then I did a deep dive and I was like, I said to Peg, didn't Jojo have a line of bows? Yeah. It was She was huge. an innocent gal. Yeah. And then I didn't even realise she was from Dance Moms. Yeah, the star. Which I tried to watch last year. I thought it would be fun. You know, I'll get into that and then I'll watch lots of seasons. Because when you're a parent, you're always desperately trying to find something in common with your kids, right? You are. So I thought, great, we'll love Dance Moms. Anyway, I could watch about four episodes. She was so mean, that Abby woman. Lee. Abby Lee. That's what makes it great. No. <laughs> She's she heaven. was so mean to those little girls, and the parents let it happen. I know. I mean, I'm watching it. I said to Peg, just so you know, for clarity, for avoidance of doubt, if anyone spoke to you or treated you in that way in front of me. I would kill them with my bare hands. <laughs> I mean, Abby Lee is now in a wheelchair, so maybe yeah. karma is a bitch. Well, absolutely. <laughs> and, I, you know, lucky she isn't in there for something I've done. Anyway, Jojo has been spotted kissing a US TV star that she met while judging So You Think You Can Dance. It's the hottest, most romantic airport smooch Isn't I've it? ever seen. The full head neck grab. Yes. Another favourite headline I saw of Jojo over the weekend was oh God, um, what's she, up to she chugged a bottle of vodka during a Pride performance. It's like she's turned 21 and decided that her whole persona is going to be getting drunk. And what about when she was in her kitchen going, I was old right there. <laughs> After Disneyland. Yeah, anyway, she did have a, a previous relationship with someone called Avery Cyrus, which I then had to Google to see if it was Miley's sister. It's not. It's not, okay. It's not. All right, let's finish with this heartwarming story out of the daytime Emmys. We had some contest- We had some candidates there, didn't we? Yeah, because Steph and Dennis and that other lady from Neighbours whose name escapes me popped up on stage to present. But it's got to be Jackie Woodburn, wouldn't it? No, Isn't Annie she- Jones. Oh, oh, Annie Jones. Yes. Well, yeah, the daytime Emmys, this is a really big deal. And Dick Van Dyke, who's been acting for a million years almost. I mean, he was in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. He's been in all of them, right? Um, 98 years old. 98. So gorgeous, so full of life. Have a listen to this little interview. I'm just happy to be the oldest nominee. I never knew that. The oldest nominated That's actor at the daytime Emmys. If yes. I had known I was going to live this long and have taken better care of myself. I'm 98, have all, almost all my marbles. You seem like it. I can't remember what I had for breakfast. But. <laughs> Does the word retirement ever even cross your mind or you're still just as passionate? Oh, no. And do you know why no? Do you know why he said no? No, because death crosses his mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said because this isn't work, this is play. Actors are so lucky. It's like us, Swanee. I feel exactly the same. So and do I'm I. never going to retire, mainly because I've still got so many children that seem to be growing up very slowly. And an $80,000 laundry to pay for. Oh my God, I'm never paying for that. <laughs> Can you believe it? Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.